what brings me joy in my work is being able to be myself and flourish because of it. Being able to tell the truth as a way of a career brings me joy. I would tell my younger self to take my writing more seriously because when I um, was blogging for a while, I still didn't think writing was a career. I thought it's just something cute that I do, it's a hobby, but I didn't know any real writers in real life. Um, so I didn't take my craft seriously or think that it was something that was worth getting paid for. So I would tell young Lovey to pay attention to this writing thing because this is going to bring you some cool places. I wouldn't recommend anybody try to emulate my career. I say they stand in their power and use their voice. And ultimately what has gotten me here is because of how I talk and how I approach the world. And my voice is the reason why all these things have happened. So honestly, being consistent over a long period of time is the best thing I can tell anybody who wants to get into blogging because there's no overnight successes. I call myself a 13 year overnight success. So you just gotta stick with it. It was a process over a couple of months for my deal with Shondaland to be announced. And where I was when it was announced was at the Makers Conference. And that's when it actually dropped publicly and I could actually say, hey, yes, this is happening. And that was an amazing conference to be because it was full of women who committed to make sure other women thrive. So announcing my Shondaland deal there was perfect. Um, my vision for the Red Pump Project is to continue to educate women of color about HIV and AIDS and really um, spur people to take action and get tested and know their status and talk about this epidemic that people typically don't talk about on a daily basis. So I am hoping we continue to do the good work that we're doing on a larger scale. My mom has taught me everything I know in terms of being a human, being a woman, being a being somebody who who finds service to be of importance and you know being raised by Nigerian parents um, you also get a little bit of bluntness so she's had everything to do with how I speak how I write um, how I approach the world as somebody who feels like we're all obligated to leave it better than we found it